Welcome back to Tech After Dark. In today's video, I'll be installing a 3060 into your PC. So we have the 3060 right here. Very nice. So we'll set that aside and let's open up the PC here. So lay your PC on its back and I actually use a towel just to kind of prevent any scratching on the table and to protect your PC because it's your baby. We'll need to obviously unplug all the cables and you wanna just click the little switch on the back as well, just to be safe. So some PC cases are a little easier to open depending on what you have. So this one is very easy and I actually even went ahead and bought a really nice tool set here because one of the comments actually said to buy one. My last tutorial on how to install uh, 870 Evo, the commenter was mentioning that I didn't have a tool set, so I bought one. Very nice. It has everything to fix phones, computers, whatever. So really awesome. It has all the drill bits you need. But for this video, you only need a Phillips head screwdriver. So pretty simple. That's all you need unless your case requires a different socket or anything. It kind of varies depending on the screwdriver. So let's use a screwdriver to loosen these bolts. It is much easier to use a real screwdriver for sure. So let's slide it out and it kind of comes to your left here, depending on the case. Just like that. And let's set aside our lid of our PC case. And we can kind of look inside here. I've got a 1050 Ti 4 gigabyte model and I'll be installing the 3060 in its place. So what we need to do here is unplug the six pin connector here and there will be a little tiny little lever you just push and you pop open. So I'll just hold the video card down and pop it just right out. Pretty easy. And uh, this is just a six pin where the 3060 is actually an eight pin plus a six pin. So eight times one and six times one. So we'll just put that to its side there. You'll see there's one screw, it's actually two screws, holding the video card in its place. So let's just go ahead and unscrew them. Be careful because you can really drop these really easily into the case. Just like that, just the two screws there. And from here, there'll actually be a lever just on the bottom, right underneath where the PCIe Express lane is. And you just put that lever down. So you just click it down and it should just pop out just like that. And this is kind of a lever I'm talking about. Just It just kind of hugs that little lever there. So let's just put this to its side and just check our connections. So we've got a PCIe Express 16, one, two, three, and we can kind of put it anywhere. I'll probably just put it in the same place. Just mind the wires. I still haven't really figured that out yet. But you'll see here that We've got an eight pin and a six pin, and these bad boys actually can kind of make more pins if you need be, but I'll just need a an eight and a six. So that's all you need for the 360. Let's get a little more slack. And I might actually have to cut this. This cable is a little too tight, and you always have to keep it tight, but yeah, I might have to actually cut that. Um, let me find a pair of pliers and I'll just be right back. So we've got a pair of pliers here. And yeah, sometimes you kind of need to do what you gotta do. So let's just snip this uh, strap here. Just like that. Take this away, put that in the little lid. And now we've got a little more leeway here. So you can organize and I can organize this a little later, but now we can kind of 
have a more a little more slack here. So let's put the wires off to the side here and let's take our brand new 3060. So take off a little piece, brand new, and it will slot just right here. So it's quite big, it actually almost kind of reaches the end of the case there, but you'll just put it, slide it in. You have to just lift this just a bit. It's quite big. I'm just gonna unplug the actual PC here for a quick second. Like that. Okay, this will be a bit easier to handle. So I'll put this cable over here for now. I'm sweating right now. I'm not gonna judge your journey. It is your fantasy, just as long. Wow! Okay! Horses? Worse than horses? Okay, so. Let's just drop it in. Like so, and you just gotta line the pins. So, the card can kind of just slide into the PCIe Express slot 16 4.0. And just like that, you hear a little click when you press down on it and it's secure into place. And let's just put some screws in and um, we'll go from there. Two screws, same exact place. Okay, that's not going anywhere. So let's just take the PC cord here and we'll plug it in. So let's just go around the side here. I heard a click and this is only if you have to because the card is so huge. Okay, and then let's get the, uh, the correct cords. So let's just take the six pin and we'll just snap it in. Like that. It clicks. And then let's just take the uh, other six pin here. And let's just add on to the, uh, the eight pin here. So we'll just push those two together here, just like so. So it becomes an eight pin. So we'll just push those together here. So just like that, it plugs in. Push this one down. Cable management. So that's how you install a 3060 RTX 12 gigabyte. And this is 192 bit memory bandwidth. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna plug it in and um, turn it on. But that's how you install a uh, 30 series GNU card, the 3060. I'm gonna plug it in and um, see how well it runs. that let's put the screws back and put my tools back let's put this uh, back on the other card here perfect so Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.